And I'm saying, but the God, I'm gonna go hard. Eh. I had to go hard. Welcome to the next vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in on my vlogs. Like I see some people actually really do love my vlogs. I really do appreciate you guys commenting on my vlogs. Like it does mean a lot. Please don't forget to also like and turn your post notifications on. It's so weird because I'm thinking like my vlogs are kind of really boring and I barely do anything. And I feel like at this point I'm also just vlogging for people. Who comment on my videos and just genuinely enjoy my vlogs but i hope you guys are still good honestly and if you woke up today that means god still has a purpose for your life okay <laughs> but anyway it's not all about that but yeah like something weird actually really happened to me i was sleeping and um i suddenly woke up and i don't know what was happening i just had these thoughts in my head it was mostly like my thoughts were speaking to me it was very weird like it was just these constant thoughts in my head like are you close to god get close with god like and i ended up thinking what if the holy spirit was like talking to me or something it was very weird like i wasn't thinking anything but i just instantly woke up and i just like my thoughts were basically speaking to me <laughs> i just heard words like are you close with god get close to god something like that and i'm like dang immediately like i started praying and when I checked the time, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. I know that happened for a certain reason, I'm not gonna lie. There's a reason behind that, because there's no way I just instantly wake up and just these thoughts in my head asking me if I'm close with God and I should get close with God, um, I should get closer to God, something like that. But yes, please don't get mad at me, okay? I saw something really crazy on YouTube. It's just basically about a certain woman who got like some sort of BBL I don't know it was through those certain injections and you guys I was very shocked at what I saw and I'm like I'm not about to see this alone you guys need to see this with me okay <laughs> and I'm just like what like people really people need to learn to love themselves like this is actually really shocking I'm not against BBLs or anything else like that but y'all I think people should be careful when they get these done, you know, they should go to like a proper like legitimate surgeon, um, like someone who's well qualified, okay, someone who's a professional, not just like these cheap, like, it's not a okay, can, it's very scary, okay, and what I saw here, I'm like, what, and I'm like, I'm really sorry, you guys need to see this with me, okay, I'm not about to see this alone, <laughs> so... Where's that video? Plastic, plastic surgery gone wrong. Plastic surgery gone wrong. Why can't I find that? Why can't I find it? This is plastic surgery that went wrong and... I was very disturbed. By what I saw and just look at this picture you guys and so this man was just basically talking about a woman who got um, work done on her body there's this one I've seen also through social media like I think with this whole plastic surgery thing people get very addicted to it and they end up not feeling fulfilled or satisfied with themselves so Oh my god, like this is so crazy. What would be interesting was like she would be talking and then she would just be like, you know, my butt hurts, my butt hurts. So we would have to sit and like rub her butt. Like we would just rub it and rub it and rub it. Because she couldn't sit too long, she couldn't stand too long because she would be in pain because of the injections. 
So she goes into her story. She's been Some of these injections are not safe at all. I think it's better for people to go for a much more safer procedure, like when they get work done. I truly think people should start appreciating who they are and you know there's nothing wrong with like getting bbls or anything else like that but i don't want it to get to an extent where you feel insecure um and feel like you're not enough now because a lot of people are just getting these procedures done on themselves you should also be able to still feel confident in your own skin in your own body same thing with like botox and all of that you know if now I want to get like that cute chin, I mean, yeah, there wouldn't be any problem with that. But for me, I think it's just going to get to that point where I'm really obsessed over just trying to fix my face. Like, <laughs> was once not so common. In this no, video, no, a form of what? Had to deal with. this is um 10 worst botched plastic surgeries. Look at this. The implants, even with doctors telling her she had to remove the discs, but things went downhill only six months after, as the silicone migrated up her back and down her legs, attaching Whoa. to her organs and resulting in autonomy. Renee wanted to put in another implant to replace the space where the old implant was. Doctors told her to wait six months, but she didn't want. Nah, people should learn to like really appreciate themselves, cause now this is getting over the place. It's getting out of hand, all right? It's getting out of hand. That's why I'm really thinking now if I wanted to like get Botox, um, I don't know how much is it, but like, let me just say I wanna get Botox. I feel like I'm gonna get to a point where I am so addicted to it. And now I'm just gonna get to a place where I feel like I'm not enough and you know, I constantly wanna go get my face done, you know, so. But I don't know, maybe people experience these in different ways. Seriously, what were you doing, sis? Rachel! Fence of many people shop around for the best deal. I all began a series of butt lift procedures at the... Wow. Were ...treatments in the UK. Nine. I'm literally sitting here watching these like I'm gonna fix something. And these people don't even know me. Like, seriously. Did you guys see what happened with Tristan? I was going through his Instagram account and I have never laughed that hard. I know this is not a funny situation. Tristan has been in pain, Chloe, and I don't know how many times she actually forgave him. So I look at Tristan's post, I look at his caption, right? Then I go to the comments and when I tell you, people are going off on Tristan. Like, it's so insane. <laughs> Like, I'm not laughing at the situation, but I'm just laughing at how people are just bashing Tristan, alright? So on this post that I saw of his, he's talking about how, Oh, feels good to be out there with the fellas. Great win. Let's keep building. It's all about the details. And then now when I go through the comments, someone is like, You belong to the streets. Building nothing, building nothing but, but broken, broken homes. homes. What are, what are you trying to build? build? A whole team full of kids? kids? Future, Future don't get, don't get on, you. on you. A whole a Tatiana. Whole Tatiana. Go get some therapy. Do keep in your pants. Yo, I can. And is your goal to father your own basketball team? <laughs> you look sweet, Tristan. Wonder what activities you did that day. Someone's like, if you got more baby mamas than championships, clearly you have a different goal because you be shooting the wrong shots. You know what, I'm not saying they should best Tristan, but I just honestly love how women go hard for other women sometimes, like on social media. I like it. Like, y'all should go on. Incredible what he's turned himself into from a dad who was in those conditions to, I think your mom was great, right? But you sort of said, mom, this much. Next thing I know, I'm hearing this late broken kneecap. You gotta go down and tie your knots. My kneecap is going in and out, and I'm like, fucking so. I talk about this in the book. So now I'm up on the pool deck, and I, I talk about it good. My body said, oh shit, man, we're back. Mm -hmm. On Monday, it was Barry Doughboy. Good morning, because he died. Mm -hmm. So in about 30 hours early. She said eight or nine. I don't even know.
I'm not saying you a while, like, no, I'm just a no, because I'm not just a gram eight, but you didn't specifically say to me, you said eight. I'm thinking you were just reminding me. But it's so weird. Shocked? What do you mean? Oh my god. to go out with a new friend of mine that I made um, if you guys have checked my previous vlog I actually went out alone and like the craziest thing happened so I went to the bathroom and when I got back I saw this other girl and um, I think two guys just sitting with her and when I got there I found them sitting there I was just like oh I'm actually sitting here but I'm about to leave it's okay and that girl was like, oh my word, so you came here alone? I'm like, yeah, but I just came to eat and I'm, I'm leaving. She was like, oh, you came alone? No, you can stay, girl. Like, I don't usually go out. And then from then on, like, we literally just clicked. And we ended up, like, exchanging numbers and, and agreeing that we were going to meet up and, you know, get to know each other. So, the day before we were supposed to meet, which was last week, so she basically ended up telling me that she won't be able to meet up with me and I'm just like, oh my god, like what? What? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie you guys, I was so, I was so sad because I was very excited to like make friends and at the same time, I don't mind making guy friends but the thing with guys is they will agree on being your friend and then all of a sudden a nigga will be like, oh I have feelings for you and it's just like, bro I literally thought me and you were friends like I literally don't have a problem being friends with guys I do have guy friends you know I have guy friends especially my family friends but it's like some of these guys you would want to be friends with them and they're gonna end up like wanting to date you and it's like my nigga like I thought me and you were just friends why are you trying to date me now like so that is why I really really appreciate guys who just want to be your friend and they understand that you're not trying to date anyone and be with anybody else and yeah i really do appreciate guys who are like that you know like they're very genuine the guys who just agree on being your friend then end up just having feelings for you it's like my nigga now i'm gonna have to cut you off like let me bring you guys closer this is why i literally don't bother making friends like and one thing about me as well like i don't force people to become my friends or i won't run after people to like be friends with me but i just honestly feel like if you are going to agree on just going out with someone and you end up changing your mind on the last minute i really don't get why i was so sad like i really was so sad when she cancelled on me her reason was valid but like it's like why did you agree in the first place you know <laughs> why hey guys i am so excited because like i literally bought myself well this is like a late birthday present okay i'm so happy with the bag that i got it's so nice it's giving me like some louis you know it's giving me some louis vibes and i really really like it you know it's so cute beautiful and 
makes me feel very luxurious as well like i really really love this bag you guys i actually ordered it like a long time ago and it got here really late so i guess it's my late 24th birthday present you know so <sighs> yeah my birthday was just literally in december like these past december you guys might have seen my vlog like i really had such an amazing time with my cousins like that was such an amazing time and i also want to say i've been getting dms of people thinking that i'm lonely like bro i promise i am not lonely i am so happy i don't stress about people i'm not in nobody's business i'm not bothered by nobody nobody bothers me okay but it's like just because i spend so much time alone i feel like that's also when i'm the happiest sometimes and i'm not gonna lie like i do feel especially since i've gone through like my first heartbreak and everything like it was in the beginning it was very hard like you know to deal with loneliness because you know when you got used to like being in a relationship and now it's just like you're no longer in a relationship like it's actually like it gets very lonely but i feel like most of my life i've literally been that person who's very introverted loving my own space so I promise you okay like i'm very happy and i really think a lot of people should learn to be you know happy by themselves like literally because i feel like at the end of the day regardless if your mom or your dad or your boyfriend your loved ones are there for you at the end of the day mentally you are alone mentally you are going to be alone and you're the one who has to deal with those thoughts that you have and how you communicate with and how you communicate with yourself you know so i'm pretty much happy i promise you guys like don't see me being alone most of the time i do have friends i told you but i do have a very few people in my life you know so there's nothing i can do about it like <laughs> i really can't change the fact that i have a few friends and every time i try to make more friends i just cannot and it's like i'm a very sweet person i feel like the people that have been around me and that i've actually showed love to can tell that i'm a very sweet person I, and i do spread love i don't know for sure like the people that are around me know i'm a very sweet kind person everyone else has their own flaws but it's like i'm very sweet and i'm very kind i'm actually about to head out now like i want to go eat and have a few drinks you know the place that i'm going to it's not really that far you know my cousin like said the craziest thing to me she was telling me on how like i talk a lot on my vlogs and i'm just like if i don't talk on my vlogs and express my feelings i really don't know like is that how you guys feel about me like <laughs> and she also said she literally skips the part where i'm talking bro like it'd be your own family like i swear it'd be your own family this look let me look at my queen wait did i even take my card oh my world yo when i check my instagram like this fine ass nigga literally followed me i'm like what i'm like dang like this nigga is so fine guess where this guy's from you guys He's from Cape Town. And I'm like, why do all fine niggas gotta be in Cape Town? Why? Why? <laughs> I feel like Cape Town has such beautiful people. Like, it's beautiful women, beautiful niggas. But it's like most niggas who are like very, very bomb. They're like literally in Cape Town. This is why I don't like filming, taking like my camera and everything because everybody in their mama will be looking at you like you're crazy. And it's like, yo, my nigga, like I'm doing YouTube. But anyway, Jamila. So, like, what time do you guys close? Okay, I think I'll sit there. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Right. Let me go sit there. Hello. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink? So okay, let me just um, check the menu okay. first. Um
Go straight to the lead. Take the sip. Feel just how I be. On freeway, but knowing that the free. Been lost, been lazy. Just busting bills, but still ain't nothing changed. You in the mob, so that you out the chain. She caught the waves, just thumbing through my brain. I wanna eat them. Like, I just got home, so I'm about to get in, but like, I really cannot just stop smiling. I don't know why, but yeah, let me take out my keys. I'm so lit. Okay, let me grab my stuff. I literally ate two slices of pizza. Like, what the heck? I didn't eat at all. I still have so much food. It's insane, okay? Okay. Wait, where's my key? My hair looks a hot mess. I need to like edit a video now. Wanna give a bitch my heart, but I can't though. Little bitch, I fell in love with a burnt hole. I stole a car, drove them like go karts. Niggas acting like bitches, they got both parts. And I came from the gutter, I got no heart. And I'm saying about the gutter, I got no heart. Ay, I had to go hard. Niggas trying to cross me out, I don't understand. Y'all, I'm literally editing my video right now. Boy, you made it, yeah. What? Oh my god, no way. No way. Like I'm just 
just really thinking like where would we be without music bro nah no 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 niggas are the biggest lies niggas i feel like this guy's so wrong he's like who, who the biggest lies women are, big, are the biggest lies no my nigga like niggas is the biggest lies like i feel like this is so wrong you know this part of the song really pisses me off because niggas are literally the biggest lies i really don't get what he's trying to say he's saying women are the biggest lies no niggas are literally the biggest lies <laughs> Like, listen to him, bro. He's talking about how our hair is fake, our makeup is fake. Fake. We're not that tall with those heels. Like, my nigga, still. Like, we're just trying to, like, feel confident in these type of things. But matter of fact is, niggas are the biggest lies. Like, I really don't believe this. Like, niggas have literally been the biggest lies since 1730 like bc before christ i'm touching me on the slope i pray to god every month lord i ain't hungry anymore ain't living life like before did all the shit on my own did all the shit on my own did all the shit on Let's get it popping in the mash. Very exclusive nigga, we don't have a rap. We're doing good if you ask us. See me balling hit the basket. Whoa. She ain't with the trip and we the grown up stuff. This girl like saying that. Now. 